And then, uh, Jared, you and I were gushing over art to watch, uh, but we can gush over a little bit more the Zancan release. Anything else you want to add about Zancan's bright moments? Uh, let's see if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Kimono Shingu. Yeah, it's good by me as far as the pronunciation goes, but that's not my forte. I think that, uh, you know, we did gush over it earlier. It, it, it doesn't, um, it, nothing's changed. To me, this is uh, just an affirmation of uh, what Zankin's capable of doing and just the the ability to deliver over and over and over again. It, it just, personally, it's something that, again, I, I intend to pick up with, uh, I mean, even look at some of the ones on screen, like number 16 that you just went by, it looks like dragon scales in the background. I don't know, man. It just, it feels very dynamic. Uh, and I am I have more conviction on Zancan. This is a project I will be tracking low key very closely because I think that there's some some just absolutely brilliant outputs and the use of color. The combinations are new to Zancan. I mean, uh, in my opinion, outside of KGMs, uh, it, it's uh, to me it's it's a wonderful project i get fascinated and, and more engulfed with the outputs every single time i scroll through open on them so um anybody who's looking for it you know just track it get your low notification bots up for it but it's uh it's it's beautiful man i, I just can't stop definitely the highlight of tokyo uh, for me personally but full disclosure Huge holder of Zankin, huge um, believer in his work. So overall, j just congrats to to Zankin for for bringing together another brilliant al uh, algorithm. It's it's so good, just so good in my opinion. Yeah, I'm not a huge holder of Zankin, and I feel the same as you. So my less biased opinion converges with yours. Last one to highlight: Strands of Solitude by William Connell. This is round trips all the way back down to mid price. I think people have forgotten about it a little bit. The floor is pretty thick. Beautiful outputs here. I think for a look, uh, well, eight is a bit of a little high for a dark background, but people looking for Mapon exposure, you know, there's very few for sale as well. A 4.75% listed out of 400. I'll see if I can do the math. I think 19 listed there. So, yeah, just one that I think folks should keep an eye on. Yeah, I know, I know we gushed over Mapon last week, but, you know, I mean, uh, I'm part of, like, Real Vision, and even in their Discord, uh, there's an NFT section, and what's traditionally about trading and charting, and people were talking about Mapon. They were talking about Strands of Solitude, and I found it. We didn't talk about this off camera because it just came to me, but it's a really interesting data point when, when kind of these, like, uh, disparate crowds start talking about the same thing, and... The fact that Strands of Solitude was coming up as a good entry point to Mapon, and then Dragons came up. So it was pretty intriguing to me. Um, and I agree with you. This is something that I've been tracking. Uh, to see this retraced back to the mint price of 2 ETH and have a pretty um, low listing amount is, I don't think it runs up by any stretch. But at the end of the day, you know, if you want exposure to Mapon, there's definitely an attractive price point here. Yeah. And the only thing I'll add is I think it, I personally think it will run up at some point, right? I, I would track the anti-cycling run and then see. I assume this will follow. But uh, again, that's more premium content, talking about specific trading strategies, not financial advice. And that's our show, Jared. Thanks for watching Collector's Corner Shorts. Check out the full video on our YouTube channel shown here.